support your independent bookshops, especially when they're really, really gay. Hello! Hope you guys are all okay and all good. Welcome to another video. I sound very groggy this morning, and I feel quite groggy this morning. My throat really hurts. Anywho, it's Saturday morning. I've just woken up. It is like 10 to 9. I slept pretty well, and I think it's because I'm coming down with something, which isn't ideal. I'm sat on my bed. I've got myself some breakfast, I've got myself a cup of tea, I'm about to sit down and watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And then, I'm going out to meet my friend Hannah in London, because she is over from Spain today, which is very, very exciting for me. I look like I'm in some kind of angelic heaven type thing. I'm sorry that my face looks such a mess as well, I'm sorry, it's because I've just woken up, please don't hate me. Because she's gonna be meeting me in King's Cross about at half 11, 12-ish, I thought I would pop in a little bit earlier and have a little wander around the lovely shop that is Gay's The Word. I've not been there in ages. I've bought myself one book this year. I bought myself the Batman book by Marie Lu. I've not bought myself any other books apart from that this year. And I have a book token to spend, so... We're gonna go on a little adventure and I'm gonna take you with me and then we'll do a little book haul at the end, okay? She looks so much better now. She's done her hair. She's taken a shower. She's slightly more awake. Right, I'm about to head off and hopefully, well, hopefully see some lovely books and maybe buy some. And if I buy some, you'll get to see all of them and I'll talk to you about them later on in this video. This video is weird. This is why I don't do vlogs. I can't handle vlogs. And also like, it's weird having my face like here in the camera because I keep looking at it and making sure it doesn't look terrible. Home now. Hope you guys enjoyed that brief little vlogatiness. It was a little bit short, it was a little bit random, but I'm back home now. I had a lovely day out with my friend Hannah. We went to see a show. We went and had some vegan food. I've never had like vegan, like properly vegan food before. It was really delicious. So that's kind of fun. Um, but beforehand, I did go to Gaze the Word and I did buy myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books using my national book token. So Let's get to those. At the till point, they had a copy of Walt Whitman's On the Beach at Night Alone, which is one of Penguin's little black classics. They're only a pound. And I I just kind of saw it and it was kind of, I mean, it's typical till point purchase that it was there and I was like, ooh, Walt Whitman, ooh, poetry. So I decided to pick that up. So I have this. I also got myself a copy of Queers, eight monologues curated by Mark Gattis, which was aired on the BBC. I've not actually watched it yet, so I've never seen it, but I'm very excited to read it. And plot twist. This copy is signed by Mark Gattis, which is super fun. Queers celebrates a century of evolving social attitudes and political milestones in British gay history as seen through the eyes of eight individuals. Curated by Mark Gattis, the monologues were commissioned to mark the anniversary of the 1967 Sexual Offences Act, which decriminalised homosexual acts in private between two men over the age of 21. So these were broadcast on the BBC in 2017. I've not had a chance to watch them yet. I'm assuming there'll be somewhere for me to watch online. If there's a BBC iPlayer link, I will leave it in the description box below. So you can go and check them out as well. And obviously links to all of these books will be in the description box as ever but I'm really excited to read this obviously with like doing my course at the moment I'm reading a lot more plays so I'm always looking for new monologues to try out so there might be something really cool in here for me to take a look at so this I also picked up a copy of Barracuda by Christian Siolkas I have been meaning to read this ever since I watched I only watched I think the first two episodes of the series on the BBC there was a drama made of this a couple of years ago um, and I watched the first two episodes and for some reason I never finished it which means I don't actually know how the story ends so I'm really looking forward to reading this at some point I really want to finish the series as well maybe there's a video in that maybe there is a video where I can talk about the comparison between the TV series and the book who knows? I'd love to do more things like that. That'd be really cool. But this is the story of a boy called Danny Kelly, who is a swimmer who has a scholarship to a prestigious school in Australia. It's all about him trying to live his dream of being a professional swimmer and helping out his family and kind of getting some kind of revenge on the rich, fortunate people who have bullied him at that school for having a scholarship and for being from a poorer background. I'm really excited to read it. I really loved the series. I really loved what it was doing and yeah, I'm excited to read it at some point. It's a little on the long side, but I'm really looking forward to taking a look. 
So this, it was actually another book by Christian Siolkas there as well, which I can't remember the title of, which is what I was looking at when I suddenly saw Barracuda. And I thought, oh, I'll read Barracuda first because I have some familiarity with Barracuda and maybe I can read this another time. <sighs> Sneezes. The next book that I picked up was Pride, the inspiring story of the unsung heroes of the Miners' Strike which is by Tim Tate with LGSM. This is the true story behind the film that came out a couple of years ago, a film that I think I went to see in the cinema and made me absolutely sob. It was beautiful and it made me do big, big cries. So I'm really excited to read this and learn more about the factual side behind it. Like the film is really great. If you've not seen it, I do recommend giving it a look, but I do also really want to read the book and learn more about the history behind it rather than just the film. Does that make any sort of sense? But I'm really looking forward to reading this. And again, this was another one that was on the till point. Gaze the word is in the film. So it's about, I think that's where they gather in the film. They gather at Gaze the word. But this was also on the till point and I saw it and thought, ooh, this is an opportunity. Let's read this. So I got this too. I also picked up a copy of Guardian by Alex London, which is the sequel to Proxy, which I read last year, which is like a sort of dystopian science fiction-y sort of novel featuring gay characters though that's not really what it's about. I really really enjoyed Proxy. I thought it was so different and so sparky and interesting. I actually bought Proxy from Gaze the Word so kind of going back and seeing Guardians on the shelf I thought okay well this is I obviously need to buy this too and I need to know what happens next uh, to these characters so I'm really looking forward to reading this at some point soon. I listened to the audiobook of Proxy I think so I might re-listen before I read this just as a kind of recappiness in my head. But yes, I got this, which is really exciting. The next book that I got was I'll Get There, It Better Be Worth the Trip by John Donovan. This is the 40th anniversary edition, but it's actually the 50th anniversary of this book next year. This is published by Flux Press and is the story of a boy called Davey who, when his grandmother dies, he has to move to Manhattan to live with his estranged mother. He's really struggling with that, but then he meets this boy at school and their friend, and he becomes really close friends with him and their friendship starts to take a turn. This also features like, Reflections from Brent Hartinger, who wrote, who wrote The Geography Club, which I really like, Martin Wilson, Kathleen T. Horning, and a forward by Stacey Donovan. Um, I'm really excited to read this. It was one of those ones that I saw the cover and I thought, this looks really interesting, picked, up, picked it up, read the back, and thought, okay, I'll give it a go. I've never heard anything about this book before. I've never seen it before. This is the first time I've actually seen it on a shelf and it looked sort of interesting. So I decided to pick it up and I would give it a go. And last but by no means, there's a cheeky bit of nonfiction. I picked up a copy of Transmission by Alex Bertie, My Quest to a Beard. I'm a big fan of Alex Bertie's YouTube channel. I think he's really interesting and he seems like a really, really lovely guy. When I found out that he was doing a book, I was very, very excited. When I went to Yalk, I picked up a sampler of the book. So I already know a little bit about it. I've already read little bits of it here and there. I'm really excited. He's also working on the anthology that Stripes are doing. I'll leave link. I, 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 where am I going? My head has just gone a little bit all over the place. Okay, so first of all, this is Alex Bertie's memoir. It came out at the tail end of last year. I'm really looking forward to reading it. I'm a big fan of his channel and it just looks really exciting. And I'm really, ex I'm really excited to know more about his life. I feel like there's only so much that you can know from YouTube. I'm excited to kind of read about his journey in one fell swoop, if that makes any sort of sense. Other thing I was going to say is that, that Alex Bertie is part of an LGBTQ plus anthology that Stripes are doing. Stripes is a publisher in the UK. They're doing an anthology called Proud, which is being curated by Juno Dawson. It also features works of David Levithan, Tanya Byrne, Fox Benwell, bunches of others who I have definitely forgotten. Oh, oh, the guy who wrote Noah Can't Even. What's his name? Noah Can't Even. Simon James Green. So it's got a bunch of cool people in it and they're also looking for other LGBTQ writers who are not published or agented to write something for it. I am agented, so I am not eligible to apply for this, but if you are a UK LGBTQ plus writer and you are watching this, then please go and check it out. I'll leave links to it in the description box below so you can find out more. I really recommend that you go and check it out. Stripes are wonderful, wonderful people. This is an incredible thing that they're doing, similarly to what they did with I'll Be Home For Christmas, which was their anthology that they had in association with Crisis and A Change Is Gonna Come, which was the BAME anthology that came out last year, which I did a full video on, which I'll link in the description box below because why not? So you should definitely go and check all of those things out. Now I'm gonna show you the books again. So these are the books that I bought from Gaze the Word on my lovely little bookshop trip. I've not been bookshopping in a really long time, so I feel like I deserve this. And also I was spending a book token, so it sort of doesn't count, but it does count, but it doesn't at the same time, do you know what I mean? I'm really looking forward to reading all of these. This is the cool thing about going on a book shopping thing when you have a book token, is that like, 
it's all books that you're really excited for. I love I love that publishers send me books, but there's something really special about walking into a bookshop and just having like X amount of money on a book token and you can just go around and pick stuff up and have a look and really kind of, I don't know, just like look at stuff and kind of buy stuff that you wouldn't normally buy. Like I'll get there, it better be worth the trip. I wouldn't normally get. The eight monologues is not something I normally buy. Barracuda was again because I saw it and thought, ooh, I watched some of the series, I should read the book. So really cool bunch of books here so yay if you are ever in london in the general king's cross area i do recommend that you go and check out gaze the word it's an absolutely gorgeous little bookshop it has a fantastic selection of books it has gay books and lesbian books bisexual books transgender books it has non-fiction uh fiction historical stuff it has graphic novels and magazines it has erotica if you're into that kind of thing they even have like a secondhand book section it's just really great it's a really really fantastic fantastic store and also they have like recommends bays and I think that's where I'll get there it better be worth the trip came from one of the recommends bays and so did Barracuda they were both in recommends bays and they always every time I've been in there they've been different so that's really cool yes that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed that if you've read any of these books I'd love to hear from you let me know what you think about them and also don't forget if you're ever in King's Cross go to Gaze the Word it's a fabulous little bookshop support your independent bookshops Especially when they're really, really gay. Don't forget to put a like on this video if you did and to subscribe if you want to see more. I love each and every one of your faces and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.